well, who knows? The, the good thing here is that when we speak about Capital One, they have a lot of cards. And in today's conversation, I want to talk to you about a new $300,000 Capital One Spark Cash Plus Business Rewards card. Don't go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation because this card accepts all kinds of credit profiles, including low or fair credit. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you're all doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you are to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to talk to you about a new $300,000 Capital One Spark Cash Plus Business Rewards Credit Card. And this card accepts all kinds of credit profiles, including low or fair credit. Before I get into the actual nitty gritty, please understand that this video is purely educational. We have no relationship, no affiliation with Capital One, and they have not paid us to, to, to do this video. Purely educational. Let's talk about the card details. So you have a Spark, the card is called the Spark 2% Cash Plus Business Credit Card. Fantastic, look at that. Look at this card, beautiful. So this card is an unsecured credit card. Co-signing is possible. Authorized users are possible. You have a limit up to $300,000. The credit score recommended goes from 690 to 850, but you can get um you can get by, you can get approved. If you have a FICO score as low as uh, 545, if you have a multi-product relationship with Capital One. In other words, if you have a, a checking account, savings account, and other accounts with uh, Capital One on the business side and, and at the personal side, you're fine, okay? This is a great card, folks. This card allows you to enjoy uh, purchasing power that adapts to your business with no preset spending limits and you can earn unlimited 2% cash back. In addition, you can earn up to $1,000 early spend bonus. Fantastic. One thing I want to say here is that uh, there, there's no APR, so this is a painful card. Okay, it's important to know that. And uh, there's no preset spend limits and you have $200 annual cash bonus. This is kind of cool. And one thing I also want to mention here is that there is, however, a $150 annual fee. So you get unlimited rewards, cash bonuses, and business grid benefits with a $100, $150 annual fee. One thing that's very important to understand is that this card is a new business credit card that's a particularly good fit for applicants who prefer cash back to travel rewards and plan to pay the bill in full every month. You got to pay the bill in full every month, okay? Very important. And there are a few things that I want you to think about also. You have a big initial bonus with this card. You have a simple, lucrative, ongoing rewards constellation. You have a free, free employee cards. You have this, you must be, you must pay everything. Uh, you must pay the full balance every month. And the one thing I need to say here is that they want you to have good to excellent credit. However, if you have the NPR, a multi-product relationship with Capital One, you can qualify if you have a FICO as low as 545. Now, let's talk about the featured benefits. So folks, in this show, I am talking to you about a massive credit card from Capital One, business credit card from Capital One, and this is the new $300,000 Capital One Spark Cash Plus business rewards cards. And uh, now I wanna to talk to you about the benefits here. So what are the Spark business card benefits? You have automatic payments, so you can set up auto pay so you don't have to worry about signing into your accounts every month. You have $0 fraud liability. So if your card is lost or stolen or an employee loses or loses his or her car or the card is stolen, you can get an emergency replacement and a cash advance. You have year-end summaries, right? So this allows, you, this allows you to get an itemized report of your spending to simplify budgeting and tax time. You have account managers, so you can assign an account manager to make purchases and payments, review transactions, and resolve any problems. You have purchase records, so you can quickly and securely download your purchase records into multiple formats 
including Quicken, QuickBooks, and Excel. You can, you, you, you can receive, if you want, virtual card numbers, and you can make safer payments online without exposing your actual card number with merchants. What we love with this card is that this card is great for established businesses, but also for startups. At the end of the day, you have to understand this is a charge card, so this is a card you have to pay the full balance every month. You also get employee access, so you have free employee cards, spend limits. You can set customized spending limits for employee cards and see transactions as soon as the post. And you also you can actually also uh, do more from an employee card benefits perspective. You can manage from anywhere. You can track and monitor. Okay, you can protect. We love that also. You can actually lock and unlock all employee cards. Think about it. All employee cards. Those can be locked and unlocked especially if you have some uh, fraudulent purchases you can earn rewards and uh well, last but not the least remember that this card comes up with uh, the come packed with uh, the card comes packed with a constellation of benefits in terms of reporting and if you're a small business owner and your job is to make sure you track your expenses having a car like this can help you in terms of uh tracking your expenses preparing your cat your cash flow statements your income statements, but also filing your taxes at year end, whether you're filing a 1040 or a 1065 or a 10, 10, 1120. Let me now talk to you about the extra perks. What are the extra perks that come with uh, this massive $300,000 Capital One Spark Cash Plus Business Rewards Credit Card? You have two important ones, and uh, in our research, those two are critical, especially if you are a startup, you are an established business, or you are a business uh, whose employees travel a lot. If you travel a lot, if you if you move around the country, let's say you are in the trucking business, or you are in the travel industry, and you just need to track expenses, you need to monitor what your employees are doing. This is this card is kind of great. There are two benefits that. I have touched on before but i want to really dig a little deeper here number one is the fraud protection this is quintessential and in this category capital one is offering a big offer i mean they're offering a big uh, solution here so you receive fraud alerts so you receive an email or text message alert if they detect a potential mistake or unexpected charge on your account so you can set up the alerts in your account no problem you also have security alerts so you, you get notified via text email and phone if capital one notices potential suspicious transactions on your account and you can uh, update or add a co contact information remember you can always choose a specific person in your company an account manager to, to kind of handle those things you have zero dollar fraud liability so if your card or an employee's card is lost or stolen you will not be responsible for unauthorized charges no matter the amount this is great no matter the amount you have extended warranty and protection so you, you get free additional warranty and protection on eligible items that you purchase with your card you have virtual card numbers I said that before you can make safer payments online without exposing your actual card number with merchants so this they have a great extension so you can download that extension the the capital one extension that's wonderful for the virtual card numbers and you have the card lock things this is kind of good so you can lock your card or an employees if it has been misplaced lost or stolen what about the travel perks that we found uh, fantastic you have global entry or tsa pre-check you can receive up to 100 dollars credit for global entry or tsa pre-check when you use your spark miles 2x card you have mile transfer so with your spark miles card you may be able to transfer miles to one of uh capital ones more than 15 participating airline partners you have a rental collision coverage so with your spark card you are covered for any damage or theft that may have uh, happened when you rented an eligible car you have travel and roadside assistance so you get a wide range of travel related emergency services such as ticket replacement legal or medical referrals roadside jump starting tire changing and, to and towing you have they cover travel purchases and there are no foreign exchange fees now let me talk to you now about the pros and cons what are the pros and cons of this massive credit card massive business credit card from capital one of course folks just to contextualize in today's conversation i am talking to you about 
the new $300,000 Capital One Spark Cash Plus Business Rewards. And um, so what are the pros here? You have a generous, easy to manage rewards constellation. Okay, so business credit cards offer, they often pay the flat cashback rewards rate on most items plus a higher rate for purchases in certain categories, right? Like gas or office supplies. So the Capital One Spark Cash Plus offers 2% cashback on every purchase instead. So the cool thing here is that if you don't want to keep track of your cards spending categories or let's say if your business expenses don't conveniently fall into those categories, then this card might be a good fit. And uh, further, unlike other cashback business credit cards such as the American Express Blue Business Cash Card, your reward rate does not change no matter how much you spend on the Capital One Spark Cash Plus. That, that's, that's really, really great. So let's say, for example, if you put major purchases on your card regularly, you could earn hundreds of thousands of dollars in rewards each year. Just think about that. Now, the, cool, the only thing I, I, you need to pay attention to, and I've said this before, is to make sure you pay off the card in full each month. So you also have multiple bonuses. This is really good, right? So the Capital One Spark, they, they offer a double sign up bonus. So you can earn up to a thousand cash bonus, thousand dollars cash bonus. So $500 once you spend $5,000 in the first three months and another $500 once you spend $50,000 in the first six months of account opening. That potential uh, total easily outpaces the cards annual fee of $150 but you can offset that fee even after the welcome bonus period period elapses because you have an, an annual bonus from Capital One they offer $200 to cardholders who spend $200,000 or more in a year so if you're planning to spend big that bonus plus the rewards rate may make the Capital One Spark Cash Plus a smart choice and the card has no foreign transaction fees in terms of cons you have to think about whether this is a, a charge card versus credit card. So the Capital One Spark Cash Plus is a charge card. So, so instead of making a partial payment and carrying the rest of what you owe as a balance, you'll have to pay off your balance each month or risk late fees and possibly late payments noted on your credit report. So if your business cash flow is robust, that should not be a problem. But if you tend to carry a balance on your business credit card during the leaner months, other options may be better for protecting your credit even if you accrue some interest. So if you are comfortable with a charge card, you may also want to consider the Brex card. We have covered this on other shows. So this is a card that requires applicants to have at least $50,000 in the bank at all times to demonstrate their ability to pay, but it has no annual fee and does not require a personal guarantee. A third, uh, another uh, negative, uh, I would say negative element with this card is that there is no intro offer, right? Because you cannot carry a balance on this card, there is no intro offer of a 0% intro APR period. So if you're hoping to use a new credit card to make a big purchase and then pay it off over several months, you want to consider other options like the Inc. Business Unlimited Credit Card or the American Express Blue Business Cash Card, which both offer 0% intro APR on purchases for the first 12 months. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Sorted Kiwi Show. We are still having a conversation about a massive business credit card from Capital One. This is the new $300,000 Capital One Spark Cash Plus Business Rewards card. And uh, what is the evidence needed? So first of all, they're going to ask you a few questions on your credit card application form. They will ask you questions such as, why are you applying for this credit card? What assets need to be purchased? And who are your suppliers? They might ask you about your DTI. In other words, uh, what other business debt do you currently have and who are your creditors? DTI stands for your debt to income ratio. So they are asking for the debt information and they want to compare and contrast that debt information to your asset information, to your cash flow information to determine your DTI. Capital One might also ask about the members of your management team, whether they are equity holders, whether they own the company or not. So they might be asking if you apply at a branch, for example, if you apply online, they're not asking as deep. Uh, they don't ask uh, a broad constellation of uh, of uh, documents. But if you ask at a, bra at a branch 
or over the phone, they will ask you to mail or fax over additional information to them. So they may ask about the resumes of um, the founders or the leaders or the company's leaders, because if they, and this is kind of, we've seen this a lot in credit limits that are six digits. For example, if you want to have a 100,000 or 200,000 in this credit for this credit card, they will ask you for resumes. They will ask for a business plan. They will ask for a business credit reports if you have that. If not, if, if not, they'll just do a hard pull themselves. They will do. They might do a hard pull on yourself, on your personal credit, and a hard pull on your business credit. But if you structure this properly, and if you apply at a branch, you will be having an EIN only business credit card from Capital One. Right? That way, you are divorcing your personal affairs from the business's affairs. So when it comes to credit checks, they will not do a hard pull on your personal credit report. You might need to attach the income tax returns of the business and your personal income tax returns if needed. So your 1065 or 1120, depending upon the legal structure of your business, they might ask for financial statements, balance sheet, income statements, cash flow, statements of owner's equity, as well as the bank statements that you have. Make sure that you establish a multi-product relationship with the Capital One at the personal level and or the business level. That means you need to open at least two accounts, two or three accounts, checking accounts, savings accounts, CDs, all that kind of stuff. So how do you apply? So folks, in this show, I am talking to you about a massive business credit card from Capital One. And we're speaking about the new $300,000 Capital One Spark Cash Plus Business Rewards MasterCard. And uh, you can actually uh, apply via email, fax, or over the phone. You can even apply via mail-in if you receive a solicitation in the mail from Capital One. Or our preference is to visit a branch. You can also apply online. Don't get me wrong. You can apply online. The only thing is that if you want to do this EIN only and you have bad credit or poor credit, it is recommended that you apply at a branch. That way you have it. You have time to speak with a, a Capital One banker. You have time to uh, discuss your situation, your company situation before applying. But I'm going to walk you through the form, the application form. We're just going to go through the things right now online so you can see what it is. So you can see on the screen here. First, they ask you for your personal information. So they want it with your email, your first name, last name, your date of birth, your social security number. And they want to have an idea about where you live. So your residential information. So you can see on the screen here, your zip code, your city, your state, your phone number, your primary phone number, and your personal finances here and the monthly rent and mortgages, mortgage you paid. And now, one thing I want to say here is that if we're trying to set this up as an EIN only, this personal information shouldn't really carry too much weight, but they're still asking it anyway. You still need to specify whether you want to do some credit card, uh, like if you want to use this card for cash advances, you need to specify that because uh, there are some fees and Capital One wants to know. On the third screenshot, you need to put your business information, so the legal business name, the name you want to have on the card, the, the address, if you if the business address is the same as your your residential address, you need to mention that. Next, you need to put uh, all other information, the business financials, right? How much you make in a year? That's gross, the gross income and the gross revenue, rather right? gross revenue. They want to want you to put the business spend per month. Okay, you need to put uh, the largest purchase you plan on making with this card. Just mention whatever works for you. Next, they want you to talk about your business structure. So if this is you have to put the legal structure, make sure that you don't remain a, a sole proprietorship. Your chances of being approved with a high limit if you are a sole proprietorship are slim. So incorporate. You want to talk about uh, your, you want to give the EIN, your role in the business, how old the business is, the industry, the category, all that kind of good stuff that will allow Capital One to, uh, to assess the risk that comes with your business. They were asking you if your business is headquartered in the United States, if it's uh, legally uh, formed, all that kind of stuff. And uh, and that's it. So that, do you have to attach, of course, people who own more than 25% of the business. Next, you just have to review. So the first 
review here make sure everything looks right you review the second uh, screenshot and the third screenshot and then you have to click continue and here you have additional information that you need to uh, read and see here important disclosures you just have to read those and click submit so when you click submit the carefully one is going to ask you for additional acknowledgement so you have it here and click submit application then they will validate your information and then everything is fine you can see here that they have not approved the card because uh, the information we provided is purely fictional this is not for real so this is why we got a, a rejection but if you put everything correctly you should be able to get uh, an approval now folks let me talk to you about let me give you a few pro tips if you want to qualify, if you want to be approved for this card, and which card am I talking about, folks? I'm talking to you about a massive business credit card from Capital One. We are speaking about the new $300,000, that's the maximum limit, business credit card from Capital One, and that's called the Capital One Spark Cash Plus Business Rewards MasterCard. And uh, if you have low credit or fair credit, you can still qualify but make sure that you incorporate and that you establish a multi-product relationship with capital one in addition to that you want to keep your documents in order if your goal is to get this card please make sure that you keep all your documents in order i'm speaking here about your financial accounting and tax records okay keep those up to date and accurate you can actually uh, save them uh, in paper form which we, we do not require which do not recommend uh, which do not recommend it's better that you save them uh, on the cloud or any other form of uh, any other electronic form, right? You can save it on a USB key card in your company server or on the cloud, doesn't matter. You also want to demonstrate sufficient cash flow. Very important. At the end of the day, Capital One is going to make a decision based on liquidity. Remember that this card is a charge card, which means that every month you have to pay the balance in full so even if you have bad credit or fair credit but you're able to pull a lot of cash to pull in a lot of cash every month that moolah will actually uh, placate any fears of a default so capital one will approve you you also want to try to maintain good credit both at the personal level and at the business level now you you probably you may have a bad or a fair credit right now but remember that a credit score is a dynamic metric it changes all the time so there are things you can do including paying your balances on time all the time that will help you actually improve your credit score over time you also want to understand that at the end of the day every lender every credit card issuer is different so if you if for some reason the capital one spark cash plus business rewards mastercard is not for you or if you get denied don't worry about anything as I said to you, there are two other similar cards that you can apply for, actually three. You have the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited Credit Card. You have the Brex Card. And then you have the Amex Blue Business Card. Those are kind of good too. So, before we end here, here is a decision time. It's the Capital One Spark Cash Plus right for you. It really depends. It depends on your situation. It depends on your sector. It depends on uh, your budget. It depends on where you want it. It depends on your spending patterns, because there are categories that carry that allow you to earn cash rewards, right? So you have to make sure that those categories fit with your operational spending patterns. As your business expense grow, so do the rewards you could earn from the Capital One Spark Cash Plus. So if you appreciate the simplicity of no rewards categories and have international suppliers or travel expenses, the card could generate significant cash back for your business over time, outweighing its annual fee. Having said that, if your business has unreliable cash flow or if you are worried about potential dings to your credit score, a traditional business credit card might be a better fit than a charge card. Of course, this card comes with a constellation of uh, free business tools that are great. But again, you have to think twice here. So you have discounts. If you love discount, let's say you want to get the business card pair perks and discounts on the things you buy online for your business. That's kind of cool too. You can you can use uh, 
a service like Spring or Capital One Shopping. You also have another free business tool, you have money back. So you can find savings and get your money back for online purchases with Paribus. It's kind of cool also. So to recap here, our score for this card is 9.5 over 10. Thank you so much for your attention in today's conversation. I was talking to you about the new $300,000 Capital One Spark Cash Plus Business Rewards MasterCard. I gave you the card details, featured benefits, extra perks, pros and cons, the evidence needed, how to apply, and some pro tips. And then I help you with the decision making process. Thank you so much for your attention once again. I'll speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.